Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Susan Timchak. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to hit the red subscribe box. Next to it, there'll be a little bell. If you ring that bell, you'll receive notifications when I upload a new video. So I do lots of different videos, but today I'm doing one on Stampin' Up. And I am working out of our brand new catalog that just started this January. It's the January to June 2021 catalog. And what I wanted to share with you today is the Hello Dear Friend All-Inclusive Card Kit. So if you are a uh, stamper, or maybe you are brand new to rubber stamping, this kit will fit all of your needs. The great part about this kit is it's only $32 and it includes everything you need to make, let me figure this now, 12 different cards, three of four designs. And it gives you, I will show you, step-by-step um, -step directions, which if you even want to call them directions. So let me open this up totally. So here are the four different cards that are suggested to be made with this fun kit. The best part about this is that you can customize these cards to create whatever kind of cards you want. So I did um, create the four cards and uh, let me show you, uh, before I do that, um, let me show you, it comes with the envelopes as well. And the envelopes are really nice because they are printed with a lining on them so that when you send your card, let me pull a card that I made, they coordinate beautifully with the cards you create. So two of them are uh, note card size and two of them are like this, the standard card size. Here is the stamp set that it comes with and I know it may be a little hard for you to see, but if you go to my online store at stamp to creates, dot stampin' up dot net you can just do a search on my store for hello dear friend and you it will come up for you it will show you this page and it will show you all the elements that come in the kit including punch outs vellum pieces it'll also have dimensionals and glue dots it also has a um let me look Oh, just turn my light off. I love touch lights, but there we go again. But I need to move my basket because I keep hitting it. It'll come with an acrylic block that you use to put your stamps on. Um, it will come with copper cording. Here's what I have left from that. Really nice copper cording. There's still a lot left. Um, I have a lot of elements left too. My chair is squeaking. Let me fix my chair here. Um, here's the stamp set it comes with. The sayings on here are just a little note. Thank you. Hello, dear friend. A day to remember. And uh, you mean so much. Wait, hard to see. You mean, hold on a sec. You make my heart smile. I guess if I aligned it up on there. It also comes with little leaves and a little flower. The best part about these stamps is these are what is called photopolymer. So you'll see they are crystal clear and when you use these, you put them face up with the flat side of the surface up so you can read it. You place your acrylic block over the top and you're ready to stamp. The ink pad that comes with it, if I turn it the right way, is the color Misty Moonlight, which coordinates with the colors in the card kit. And you can use our reinkers, which are little bottles. Let me pull one to show you. It's not the right color, but these are little bottles we sell separately that you can use to squeeze onto your ink pad to reink it if you notice that the ink is getting light. Now, if you really enjoy this little stamping spot, you can go ahead online to my store and purchase the standard size ink pads. So these are our standard classic stamp and pads. Same exact color. So it's just a way for you to try it out. Maybe you've never stamped before. This is a great way to go ahead and learn. Now when you're done stamping, 
All you need to do is either use one of our Simply Chamois or a stamp cleaner. You don't need to use any kind of uh, uh, anything abrasive, just plain water. Clean that off, dry it off, just peel this off of here, put it back on here. And there is a protective sheet to protect your stamps. Go ahead and put that on there and put that away safely and you're ready to go. So what I did, I did a um, Facebook Live last night. I did a free online class. So if you don't currently follow me on Facebook, every Thursday I do a free online class. And um, I focus on all different types of products. Once a month I do an online free workshop which is focusing on a suite of products. So last night, which was January, where did my calendar go? Oh, hold on, what is today? I don't even know what day it is. Friday, January 22nd, 2021, I did a free online class focusing on this inclusive card kit. And what I did is off the top of my head, we took this set of products and I made alternative ideas with it. So let me show you the, now the two little note cards. I'm not a big fan of note cards. I'm being honest with you here. So I actually cut them up and I created full cards with them. So I'm looking for the other card. So this is the one um, full size sample that Stampin' Up! recommends in the instructions. And I'm looking for the other one. Where's the other one? Okay. Well done. Give me a minute because I have so many cards here that I created um, that I want to share alternative ideas with you. Okay, so here is the other one recommended by Stampin' Up! Real pretty. They're so simple to make too. So whether you're advanced stamper or someone brand new or just someone that likes to keep everything all together, it comes in this great storage box. And see how it even coordinates with the cards. So even if you make these cards, put them in the box with maybe a few little treats and wrap it with a ribbon, you can give these cards as a gift. And how wonderful would that be for maybe someone that's shut in that maybe likes to send cards? They can send them because you have made them for them and you know they have them readily available. So now the other two cards are these little note cards. This one that says, thank you. And hold on a second so I can show you um, what I did with it. Okay. So here was the little note card. Okay, don't look at the rest of the card. This was the note card. I cut off the back and I took some coordinating cardstock. And this was the inside of the envelope that I cut up because I wasn't going to need the little note card envelopes because I'm not using them. And just added a little bit of Wink of Stella, a few little embellishments, whatever you have. If you don't have, that's okay. You don't have to. But I took that and made this beautiful card. And then the other one, the Hello Dear Friend, here's what I did with that one. So I took one of the card bases, I cut the back off, trimmed it down a little bit, and again, I added in colored cardstock as recommended down here on the bottom. They tell you what colors coordinate. So I just pulled a sheet or two of these and made them into cards. And this is the Hello Dear Friend that I stuck on here and put a few little embellishments. Again, a little ribbon. There's that copper trim. Look at how beautiful that is. And again, it's a full size card because I'm not too much of a fan of the little note cards. So let me share with you, I have a whole stack of cards here using products that were in this kit and just a few little embellishments that I had around. So now here's, there's that little vellum piece. So it's printed with copper on it. And these are die cuts that come with it. Here again, that envelope, this other piece here, this was cut off one of the card fronts of the, actually the card that has, um, this printed on it it's the other side cut off and a few little butterfly self-adhesive embellishments again the copper trim to pull it all together and what a stunning card that made i hope you would love these 
Okay, here's another one. And uh, made this a little bit of a fun fold where it opens like this. It says, hello, to, hello dear friend. And um, what a cute card that would be. Again, Wink of Stella on everything. And if you're wondering, what is Wink of Stella? This is Wink of Stella. It looks like it's a marker slash paintbrush. Inside here has a liquid. And when you go and take that liquid and put that over the top of your card, it'll dry quickly. And it will, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up or not, but it makes like a glitter effect without all that mess of a glitter. So definitely something you'll want to add when you're purchasing your card kit. And if you order between January and February 2021, we're currently in our celebration time where with each $50 purchase, you can choose free items from our celebration catalog. And I'm looking to see if I have that right here, which here's the celebration catalog. It is filled with lots of free items you can choose of your choice with each $50 purchase. We also have two items in the back of this, and this can all be seen through my online store, where it's a bundle. This one has designer series paper and a stamp set. This one is free with a $100 purchase. And then we have this beautiful stamp set, a touch of ink which is another free item with a $100 purchase, and that's before shipping and tax. Also, if you gather some friends together, where it's virtually or safely together, if the orders come up to $300 total, you will also receive this free punch party stamp set, plus you will receive 12% stamp and rewards. So it's a great time to even host a little get together, whether you want to do it online or in person or, you know, whatever catalog party, we can do that many ways. Or just, you know, call up a couple friends, say, hey, I'm going to place this order. You know, you go right through my online store, place the order, get shipped to you and you're good to go. Let's continue with our cards. I get distracted sometimes, I apologize. So here's another one. This one I used uh, one of our cute little square doilies. It's made out of vellum and I cut that in half and I'm gonna show you in one of the other cards, I used the other half. Now that one I showed you that I cut off the side and used it, this is the yellow piece that was cut off. Should have had these better organized. So, okay, here we are. So this yellow piece here, that was the piece that was cut off from the side here. So I actually made an extra card out of that. Cute little card. These little die cuts here, they're also included in the kit and they give you a ton of extras. Now here's another card. Again, this is using one of the small note cards that I cut the back off. Again, there's that piece from the one that I cut off here. I used another piece going down the center there, the envelope inside. How pretty is that? Wouldn't you love to receive a card like this in the mail? I know I would. Now this was a card that the vellum piece, I turned it over so the back was facing up and I used, um, let me grab them. I used these products. These are called Stampin' Blends. They come in a light color and a dark color that coordinate. I put little um, tags on here so that I can see it because my eyes are old and it's hard to read. So this one is the real red. They are double tipped, one with a broad tip, like a marker tip, and one with a little more bullet point tip. And all I did with those is I colored on the back of the vellum and it gives it a stained glass look. And I thought that was really nice. I used the stamp to put a couple leaves here on this little tag and the little die cuts and again the copper trim and I cut the front off the card, trimmed it down a little bit, a little old olive for the background, wink of Stella, a few little rhinestones and simple, simple card. I have two more to show you. Here's another one going on that same technique of making the background of the vellum colored in to look like stained glass. So this is a full sheet of vellum that's printed with the, um, with the uh, 
yeah, copper. <laughs> My mind is going, I'm telling you. I added a little ribbon here. I sprinkled the Wink of Stella. So if you open your Wink of Stella and you just tap like this over the front, it gives you an all an overall little like a snowflake effect on your card. Really pretty. And I added a little bit more to the center of the flower. And again, some little embellishments. And then the final card I have for you is this one here. It opens this way. Again, one of those small little note cards in the back, a little scrap piece I had left from the envelope. Oh, you're down here. Um, a few embellishments, doubled up that copper trim to make a double bow. And there you go, Wink of Stella. So all of these cards were all created using this fun kit, simple cards, something to kind of encourage you to think outside the stamp box, so to speak, and be creative. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot. Once you get going, the hardest part is getting going. Once you get going, these cards will just flow. You'll enjoy it. So if you're interested in purchasing this, again, my online store at stampinsucreates.stampinup.net. This is item number 15. Four five seven three. Again, it's only thirty-two dollars. It's really affordable and makes a great gift. And everything is included to create some fun cards. Oop! I forgot this one. One was hiding. All right, everyone. I want to thank you so much for joining me, taking time out of your busy day to spend a little bit with me. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Share this video with other friends on Facebook or every, anywhere else you'd like to. I really would appreciate it. And if you, again, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Would this be something you'd be interested in doing online as a class? We certainly can do that. And um, join me every Thursday at Stampin' Sue Creates on Facebook where I do a live free workshop. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a good day. And we'll see you back here again real soon. Bye for now.